So a lot of times in war, you come up against opponents that are stronger than you. You may be a Town Hall 10 having to face against a Town Hall 11 or an 11 versus a 12, whether it be CWL or your normal wars. These types of matchups happen all the time. Today, we're looking at a few strategies that you can use so that you could come out on top, so that you can three-star those bases, and so that you can be the best. So in this first attack that we're looking at, we do have a Town Hall 11 base with the Eagle Artillery, although the other defenses are not all max level. The Town Hall 10 attacker though does have to deal with that Eagle Artillery, which is not natural. We have Frozen Heart out of United Warfare coming in on this attack with a P.E.K.K.A. Hog strategy and a wall wrecker as well notice the wall wrecker is going to come on in lead the way for that king and queen into that bottom most compartment the whole key here is cutting out a funnel inside of the base making a section for the hogs to then be able to pass around the other side of the base notice that's happening right here in the northernmost quadrant where the wall wrecker man is getting deep inside of that base king shuts down the defending queen the queen level 39 of the attacker right now Frozen Heart has not even been touched. She's being tanked by the Wall Wrecker and by the King, soon by those Barbarians as well. Raged up bowlers out of the Clan Castle, healing them up as well. The Queen will take down those defending minions. Wow, Queen healed and raged, ripping apart this base. Those bowlers, remember the days when bowlers used to be in every single Clan Castle? And now it's Yeti these days, but I digress. Hogs are coming in now from the Eastern side of the base and notice the pathing that they have to do. Very easy pathing around the bottom V of the base, making their way down to the south and then cutting their way back up to the west. Really nicely cut out here by Frozen Heart on this attack, giving us a fine example of how Hog Riders should be used. Send that kill squad in. Get the Pekkas in there, get the heroes in there, your wall wrecker, and take out a good portion of the base, 40 to 50% of it, before you actually need to send the hogs in. There's still one more heal spell left. Giant Bomb, low level though, not gonna hurt the hogs. I mean, they're really looking sweet right here. I would have dropped the heal spell a little bit more towards the Wizard Tower, being that the Wizard Tower can demolish hogs, but it looks like this time around, the hogs will actually demolish the wizard tower. That's the first strategy we're looking at here today. Pekka Hogs, use them at Town Hall 10 when attacking up to Town Hall 11. Now here's the second attack, another Town Hall 11 base with the Eagle, again though, kind of rushed, and you run into these kinds of bases a lot of time when you're in the CWL or just in some random wars. But still, when you're coming in as a Town Hall 10, you may not be used to dealing with the Eagle Artillery. It is going to be a stronger defense than you are in offense because you have to deal with that structure. Notice we have a live Demon Knight out of United Warfare coming through with the Log Launcher. I love the use of this Log Launcher. And essentially we're coming in with a, a, a Mass Witch, Witch Slap type strategy. Coming on into the core of the base, you may be wondering what's inside of that log launcher. My guess would be bowlers, but of course it could be yetis as well. Let's see. Look at this super solid defense as well. It is bowlers and the giant coming out of that clan castle going to storm the center of the base and tear this base up. But right now they can just continue pathing on through. The bowlers are going to be super strong there in the core. Queen is looking good too. Heal spells drop to keep some of those bowlers alive as they path on through even further. And remember the witches, they're going to be creating that spam along the outside of the base. Check out all this spam. The point defenses are not going to be able to keep up with those witches because, well, they can't keep up with the skeletons and the skeletons will continue to accumulate as time goes on, as long as there's no splash damage. Take a look at this base. Take a look at it. Zoom in on this base for me and check it out. No point defense is left. There is no way this defense can, can hold because the base was crushed along with all of the splash damage, specifically wizard towers and bomb towers. And next, let's bring you guys a really solid Town Hall 10 v 10 attack, although this can also be used to take down Town Hall 11s. We're looking at a P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat, although this strategy is light on the P.E.K.K.A.s, only one P.E.K.K.A. Notice right now, no siege unit was chosen. It's just regular, regular uh, clan castle troops. That's pretty sweet. You got the baby dragon getting work done up top. You have the golem coming in, leading the way over here in the eastern side of the base with that one P.E.K.K.A. baby dragon behind, helping to create that funnel. Because remember, that archer tower that could hurt the baby dragon is now being tanked by the golem. 
clutch play. Why Golem? Because the Inferno Towers are set on multi. They will never melt those Golem. Really nice playing and thinking that thing out right there by Dominators out of United Warfare. So right now, you're going to get some mass. Oh, he actually does go with that Log Launcher. Switched it out into the Log Launcher. It's going to shut down that multi-target Inferno Tower. The funnel has been set. Pekka, Golem, Bowlers are going to go into the base with that King as well. Right towards the Town Hall. This is looking really nice. Oh, the Queen's even pulling in as well. Super minions out of that clan castle. They can be devastating. You may want to worry about them, but look at this. All these bowlers. Let's see a rage spell drop. Let's see the rage on the bowlers. Is it gonna, it's, it's, where is it? Come on. There it is. No, it's not. Those are bad spells. All right. Maybe you're not going to hold on. Actually, this looks, wow. I love this strategy right now. Utilizing the golem along the outside of the base to tank the wizard towers, not even needing the freeze spells. I, you know what? I did a video on this attack strategy like a year ago. Armored Bat. That's what it's called. This is the Armored Bat attack strategy. And man, it is working. A lot of people started using Ice Golem instead of Golem. But wow, the classic version of this strategy was with the Golem, as we saw Dominators do right here, crushing this base with the Armored Bat strategy. I'm loving it. I love when we see some of these less popular strategies be used and take down bases just like this. We have one more though, and it's a little weird. Let's go check it out. And guys, I know you haven't forgotten, but I'm here to remind you just in case you did, when you're buying gems or your season pass inside of the game, consider using code ECHO. Remember this expires every seven days, so you need to go back on in and pop it in there just to make sure that you're hooking up your boy. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. And you've seen Thoki on my channel before. Now, this is a dip, but it was a fun one, so I wanted to share it. A Town Hall 10 being attacked by an early Town Hall 11 Thoki. But look at the army. He's using basically every troop inside of the game, almost the Noah's Ark strategy, which is when you come in with one of everything. Basically coming in with a strong queen charge right here. You have the Electro Dragon in there as well, starting to set that funnel. And then you have a dragon, baby dragon, one miner, one Valkyrie, one golem, one witch, one lava hound, one bowler, one ice golem. Whew. It's basically the Noah's Ark strategy, and he's going to do a nice job with it. Why did I share this, even though it's a dip? Because it's a fun one. It's one that you don't typically see all the time. And yeah, he was doing it in the CWL. The hit wasn't needed up higher, so he did it down below. And it was just a lot of fun to watch. And I like the defending clan castles here out of the opponent, which is the minions in front, super minions behind, really make you have to split your spell space there. You got you got to use that poison spell. You got to use it wisely. A lot of times you're going to miss the super minions as they're behind because they have that extra range. Hog Riders are coming out of the siege barrack. We have, I mean, literally everything else is just being thrown around the base. It's gonna heavily rely on that queen charge, which is just going really nicely through. You have the hog riders coming out of the siege barrack, which are gonna clean up the tail end of things. The wizards, which were able to kind of funnel things down with the P.E.K.K.A. from that siege barrack as well. Relying a lot on the siege barrack in this attack because really you're kind of staggered on all the other stuff that you have. So yeah, really fun strategy. Look at this, a dragon, baby dragon, and a bunch of other troops, even the Lava Hound, not even yet used in this attack here today. But listen, guys, I know that many of you are hooking up with CWL or those wars that are just not fairly matched. So now you have a couple of strategies that you can rely on next time you have those matchups. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you want more Clash of Clans videos. And also, in the comments section below, type on in more Clash of Clans and throw a like on the video. It'll tell me that you guys are down for more Clash of Clans. In the next video, I'm thinking about bringing you guys some more Town Hall 11, so look forward to that. Have a good day, guys, and be good.